Anthony Volpe started this season and his career stealing bases in three consecutive games, but has he done that the most? Welcome, folks, to the Baseball Brew Ha Ha. It's your spot for obscure baseball trivia daily, even. I'm Aaron. That's my identical twin brother, Adam. And join us today for a cup of coffee. We're having trivia for breakfast. It's our favorite kind. So um, Adam gave us a little introduction. Why don't you give us a full question, some some options there. See if we can hit this one on him. Yeah, so here we go. So Anthony Volpe, Yankees, starting his career as a rookie. Um, first three games of the season stole at least one base. What is the longest stolen base streak for a player at the start of their career? Is it three? Did Volpe set the set or tie the record, or is it more? Four, five, or six games? Okay, so I'm thinking that uh, he did not set it. Um, by the way, uh, Yankees fans already know this, uh, but Anthony did not get four in a row, so he, he capped out at three. Um, I'm going to go – I feel like this can't be that high, uh, but obviously we're, we're capping at six here. I'm gonna say yeah. I'm gonna say four. I I mean going uh four games in a row is I mean it's one thing to steal a base, but you gotta get on base. That and yeah. you know, for speedsters, sometimes that's the trick is getting on base. So I'm gonna say four. Yeah. Okay. I went six on this one. Um just thinking, you know, um like sometimes some of these guys they didn't necessarily have to get on base themselves. Perhaps they were used as a pinch runner, perhaps, right. they, you know. So I thought, you know, maybe maybe six. There have been a lot of players throughout history. Somebody had to do something kind of fun like that. So I went six on this one. Six. Okay. All right. Well, bring it. Okay. So, so I'm at six. You're at four. The correct what? answer is four. Four. Do you, do you know who – has that record yes of course you would think i would i i was gonna guess uh, i saw a list of some yeah. folks that were on this um i was gonna guess billy hamilton that's correct yeah is that right billy hamilton 2013 reds um started his career with four games in a row with at least one steal okay that's incredible yeah that's very remarkable i was so connected to this, I was looking up some other kind of fun stolen base stats as well. Mm -hmm. um, any guess as to the longest streak at the start of any season? So Volpe started this season with three in a row. Yeah, right. Any, any guess for the longest ever to start a season? Um, I'll say six. It was uh, six. It was <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done. Yes, I'm channeling my Carl <laughs> Rhodes trivia in all of you right now. Yeah, bonus points. If you can guess the player, I'll give you a hint. Uh -huh. He he also played for the Reds, but is not Billy Hamilton. Um, I'm going to say Eric Davis. Close on the good guess is in terms of era. Yeah, okay. Not Eric Davis. Uh -huh. In the, in the neighborhood with the era, this was uh, Barry Larkin in 1988. Okay. Yeah. Barry Larkin. I mean, I know he's still still back, but I didn't. Know, I mean, I don't know. I feel like Eric Davis was like he was a freak. He was. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he was kind of like skinny Julio Rodriguez. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, his athleticism and watching him play. And, you know, he, um, for those of you who may not remember, um, Eric Davis struggled with a cancer diagnosis, similar to like uh, Trey Mancini or what uh, Liam Hendricks is going through right now. He came back his first year coming back. He had a monster year for, for uh, the Orioles. Um, yeah. And so, uh, but his, his, um, uh, career unfortunately had some, you know, had multiple issues that sort of, um, I think, kind of truncated what he could have been. You know, he could have been, 
you know, somebody who is just, you know, that freak type of type of athlete, um, you know, yeah. kind of almost kind of like Bo Jackson was to some degree, you know, just an just an incredible athlete and mm-hmm. had speed power, play the field. The yeah. Yeah. Eric Davis was for sure like a 40 40 type of guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, um, so on the flip side of this, um, and maybe we'll, we'll probably do some trivia on this down the road a little bit here, but. I got to see a first. I was watching the Mariners game, and um, Ty France. Ty France. I got to watch Ty France steal his first major league bag. Um, wow. Stole third, nonetheless. Wow. Any guess on how many games? So we're talking about Anthony Volpe stealing yeah. two bags in his first three games. So he stole a bag in his first career game. Yeah. How many games do you think it took Ty France to steal his first bag? Wow. Well, he's been in the league for quite some time now. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to say, I don't know, in the neighborhood of what, 500 games? 409. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Speaking of stolen base feats, so I was watching this highlight of Corbin Carroll. Um, I'm a huge fanboy, Cor- Corbin Carroll, who's a student of mine, super fast, um, stole yesterday to stole second and third on consecutive pitches, uh-huh. neither of which the catcher was able to make a throw because he was at the base already. Yeah, it's incredible. Um, so fast. So I, I was trying to search for some kind of stat related to stealing uh, consecutive bases on consecutive pitches. And where I ended up, was players who have stolen second, third, and home in the same inning. Yeah. And was shocked by how many times that has happened. Really? Well, I know I know one was not too far back for the Mariners was Malik Smith. Um, okay. I mean, he did it. Um, but, you know, beyond that, I don't – I mean, I feel like yeah. it would have been like a Ty Cobb would have – I feel like he would have done it a, a, mm-hmm. a, few times but um you know modern era i feel like stealing home is not really a thing yeah uh, do you have do you have any guesses how many times has it happened in history ballpark it 27 54 50, hey i was i split it right in half halfway, halfway there <laughs> but that's wild 54 <laughs> times a player has stolen second third and home in the same inning yeah that's i mean it's an incredible feat. Yeah. I mean, just stealing home doesn't it feels like it doesn't happen that often. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That I mean that that's the thing for me that's crazy it's like second and third, sure. I mean, it doesn't it's not super common, but yeah, but stealing home, whoo, like yeah. It's not uh no. not so common. So yeah, there there are a lot of stolen base feats out there. They oh. use the feats to make the feats. Mm-hmm. And so at some point later, I'm sure we'll have some more stolen base trivia coming your way. Maybe I, you can send us your ideas, yeah. folks, of uh, some stolen base trivia to send your way. Yeah, I could almost guarantee on the back of that Ty France fact that sometime we're going to dial one in or who who it took the longest number of games in their career to steal a bag. To steal a bag. So, yeah. I, I got my money on Cecil Fielder. <laughs> I, I remember him rolling it, rolling in a stolen base back uh, against the Twins. Uh, yeah, back in the when they were playing in the in the dome with the baggie. Yeah, I watching him steal a bag, and I laughed pretty hard. So yeah, yeah, that's that's where it's at. So well, folks, thanks for joining us. Comment below, um, subscribe, send us some questions. We're, we're prepping questions. We love doing it, but we want to hear your input as well. So if you've got an idea, you want to you want to explore something, let us do the legwork for you, and we'll put together some fun trivia around that. And we'll be back at it tomorrow. Until then, have a good night and a good day. Whatever you feel like doing, have a good one.